morning, piggies. Good morning, Freddy. And as always in the morning, you can see all of the carrots lying here because no one eats them. Except Wormy sometimes eats the carrots. Good morning, babies. Wormy wants a pea flake as well? Oh, Wormy, wow! Wow! Do it again. Do it again. Wow, Wilmy! Oh, Frida, your cheek is so swollen. Hmm. Have to get you out of the cage today. Wait, 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 Pamela, let's throw another one. <laughs> You're so cute. Hi, Mr. Sylvester. Were there too many guinea pigs, little one? Yeah. Oh, Wilmy. You're truly part of the herd now. Begging with them for pea flakes, yep. That's what the herd does all day. Rita just moved the camera. <laughs> it wasn't me. Oh, Brady. You're so clever, Freddy. Hey, Wilmy! Wilmy, hi! Oh, Wilmy lets me pet her now. And Pebbles is still begging for a peep like. You like carrot, right, Wilmy? Hi! And there's Pebbles, of course. Wilma also doesn't really bite anymore, which is great. I also wanted to show you how I organize the guinea pig's vegetables because um, my supermarket just had a sale on containers. So I bought a whole set of these containers. No wait, these ones I had before, but I bought a few of these smaller ones. They um, had them in the set. Um, so I wanted to show you, this is a container for carrots and these ones are just on top because um, I plan on cooking vegetable soup today, so um, I need all of them for cooking, but the guinea pig's carrots are in here. There, you can see a few of them. Um, they're in here, everything here is pre-washed, and then I keep... I have kohlrabi leaves in here, in this smaller container, and then tomatoes in here, but I only have cherry tomatoes, because Frida ate the other one and also we used a few. So the big tomatoes go on this tray and then the cherry tomatoes I just keep in the thing that they come in. And then I'm particularly proud of my bell pepper container because I cut nine or ten bell peppers in small pieces and these are not nine bell peppers. Um, I already used I think three or four of them. But And then here we have a small container which is not for the guinea pigs but for onions and the kohlrabi. And this vegetable is for cooking for us as well. These two shelves are for the guinea pigs. And here is my big container. So yeah, there's a fennel in there, a little bit of Chinese cabbage, um, cucumber, and then here are my bell pepper pieces, the kohlrabi leaves. So I prepared all of that when I came home from the supermarket. The fennel isn't looking too good. I think I have to remove a few pieces. Anyway. I just wanted to show you my organization because it still looks tidy and right now I'm really proud of it. Um, I am expecting that system to last for about two weeks and then I'm probably going to start not organizing things again. The system is there so every time I want to clean my fridge I can put the things back where they belong. And things now have an assigned space and I always feel like if things have an assigned space it's easier to clean and it's also easier to stay tidy. Anyway. We are now going to go into the city because we want to buy an advent wreath or rather we want to buy the wreath thing made out of fir branches and then we want to make it ourselves.
So that's kind of the ribbon we're going with. So I want to make a few ribbons out of these. And these things maybe. The stars are really cute. So that's how we want to decorate the Edmund wreath. So just the stars and the baubles. So we just got home from town and we got a few nice Christmas things. So we got a plate, one of these candle holders, and then candles and a few things to decorate the wreath. And here's the wreath and also a little bit of fur for the guinea pigs. And I made sure that, that they didn't spray with any pesticides or anything. And that's the wrapping paper that I bought for this year. And I also bought something really, really cute. So I bought a glass and then <laughs> bright lights. Um, these little LED lights. And I thought, because we're only going to use very few of these for the Christmas wreath. So I thought we could fill up the glass with these things so that you don't see the batteries. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do now. cinnamon so that it smells nice and that's a real wreath so that's real fur so that smells really really nice and in case you don't know the tradition behind it you have four candles and you, you light the first one on the first advent so that's the like four Sundays before Christmas and then on the second Sunday you light the second candle and so on so it's kind of like a slower advent calendar instead of counting the day. This thing counts the weeks to Christmas. I'm also currently editing a trailer for Pigmas, but I'm not really happy with it, so I don't really know what exactly I want to change. I might put that template. At the end, it's kind of bothering me there, but I'm not really sure what to change. You see, there are a lot of there are a lot of video clips in here. Maybe I just have to add more of these video clips and then have more cuts. And I don't know. I'm not particularly happy with it, so um, I kind of want to work on that. You can see a little sneak peek. <laughs> 